Hey, what's up everybody? Joshua Casper here with Plugin Boutique. And today I'm gonna to show you how to set up Instascale by WA Productions. Instascale is very, very similar to Instacord, although instead of chords, it allows you to play back scales. If you're not familiar with MIDI routing inside of Ableton Live, it might get a little bit confusing. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do right now. And then talk a little bit more about Instascale and what it can do. So I've got Instascale on this channel right here. I can delete this MIDI. And if I play a note right now, you can see that we're getting some information here in the GUI and things are happening. And you can also see right here that there is MIDI signal being processed, but we want to hear it, right? We want to hear it in an instrument and this is going to work with any VSTI that you have. What we want to do is add a new MIDI channel that's control shift T or you can right click and insert MIDI track or I believe create MIDI track over here. Uh, insert MIDI track is there as well. But what we want to do is drop a VSTI in. I'm just going to take a piano. And if we play it now, it's working. But you can see that I've got this armed. So I'm not processing this MIDI through InstaScale. And that's what I want to do. So if I arm InstaScale again, again, I'm not getting anything because we haven't done the routing yet. So what we want to do is allow this instrument to accept MIDI information from InstaScale. So from the All Ins drop down, come down to InstaScale. The number one is going to be the number of the channel. You can see it's one InstaScale here. And for the second one, you want to go InstaScale. And then if you press something, we're still getting nothing. And that's because we need to change it from auto to in. And now watch what happens. We're getting the piano sound, but it's processing through InstaScale. So you can see right now, as I'm pressing this key, this H on my keyboard, and it says H right there, this is actually home, which means it's gonna be the root note of the scale I've selected. So if you come up here, we can see that scale minor and root E. So that's an E note, right? And if I go over to J, it's gonna go up one step every time I press J and it's gonna stay inside of the scale of E minor. And it's the same thing with G, it's gonna go down. And if we go to F, it's gonna go down by two steps. K is gonna go up two steps. And it's gonna be the same thing for all of these different ones. So we got C, it's gonna be dropping down a fifth or five steps every time. And we can go up seven. So that's gonna be a seventh of an octave. And really it's super cool, especially if you have an external keyboard, a MIDI keyboard, because only the white notes on your keyboard are gonna be changing anything. So except for the repeat button, which is on one of the black notes, just above, just a half step above the home key. And what this does is brings it back to whatever note you just played. Okay, and I apologize for my crappy playing. I'm just using my laptop keyboard right here because I'm in the studio that doesn't have a USB cord, in fact, so I can plug in my keyboard. So that's fun. Now, not only that, but you can kind of make your own scales. If you want to come in and adjust any of these parameters, you can see here, I can change them. For example, this one home if we wanted to and make this one plus five. In this way, if you're trying to just play on your keyboard, you know, five notes or something, and you want them to do something specific, it's very easy to come in and customize what each note is when compared to the uh, scale in the root note. There are also a number of scale presets. Harmonic minor, for example, it will change the keys down here, and we can still change the root note if we wanted to. And it's quite impressive, this little bit of kit. But anyway, I just wanted to show you how to set it up real quickly inside of Ableton Live. Look forward to more tutorials about how to actually use it to get exactly what you're looking for. I'm Joshua Casper for Plugin Boutique. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.